Robert de Wedding Jeffrey. It was a proud moment when 18-year-old Robert Jeffrey finally graduated with a PhD. Jeffrey worked extensively in the energy field and used his vast experience to pursue a qualification after he lost use of his legs. I was now essentially desk bound. And so I decided that I may as well write about my experience in this field which had begun 30 years ago. As managing director, you become very conscious of uh, your necessity uh, to deliver on time and to receive electricity on time so that you can produce when it's necessary. Jeffrey's decision came as somewhat of a surprise to Professor Nell at the University of Johannesburg, whose PhD candidates were mostly under the age of 35. My immediate honest response was, uh, I wonder if I'm being pranked. And it's, not, it's not every day that somebody in, your, in their mid-70s walks into your office and says, you know, I'd like to do a PhD in an engineering management topic. The accomplished scholar and retired businessman proved to be a star student. His thesis focused on the electricity generation industry and the best way forward for South Africa as it battles an energy crisis. As a PhD candidate, he was um, very close probably to the ideal in, in most respects. Uh, Hardworking, very committed, passionate about his topic. I think Rob has proven that um, there's no such thing as leaving it late and not getting it finished. You, you can do it even in your 70s uh, and even in uh, precarious health. After five long years, Jeffrey achieved the qualification he worked so hard for. I was nervous, but by the same token proud to be able to be sitting amongst uh, many people who had uh, done their studies, I've now succeeded in doing something that I, I never expected to do. For Jeffrey, the days of daring quests are now over. He's happy to spend the rest of his days doing photography or playing bridge. Julie Sharas, CHTN, South Africa.